Hi Taurus, welcome to your April reading. So thank you for your patience. I know you guys have been waiting on this reading and um, I just feel like right now today is the best time for me to do your guys' reading. And especially during Mercury Retrograde, I just like to follow my energy and intuition with this. So um, yes, I'm here. Um, let's do your reading. So before I start shuffling the cards, I just want to talk about the fact that you guys just don't want to be bothered. Like I'm trying to connect to your energy and all I'm getting is like sort of like blockages. Like I can't access you guys in a way. I can't get through the root of you guys like I, I can normally get through. Now it's just you guys just don't want to be bothered not with me necessarily like I'm not taking it personal at all it's more the energy that you're sending off it's like okay listen I just don't want to be bothered you want to go go you want to stay stay if you want to do this then do this but I just don't want to be bothered I just want to be left alone I just I just can't I'm sorry I can't give you right now what I used to give you or what I normally give to the situation right now this month I uh, this is all what you see is what you're gonna get from me that's what I feel strongly which is in a way not really a Taurus energy but I feel it's perfect right now so I'm not gonna shit say to you like hey don't be so like this or or don't be so direct or don't be so stubborn and don't be such an earth sign just <laughs> no i think it's 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 uh actually a good thing because you are getting sort of like it's not coming off of of a of a of a, of a point where you are just don't care or something about the situation or about people it's not that you don't care you are getting in alignment with yourself right now you are getting realizations you're having like dreams i feel some of my tours have heavy dreams um realizations just rethinking over situations it's just you're going within. You're having like this hermit, you know, moment. And that is for the evolvement of your own soul. So I, I absolutely can only like apply you for that and just push you into that direction. Like I'm just going to not bother you. I'm not going to bother you, Taurus, this month. And what you're doing is is a big part of, of what is coming up in like the summer months. So I'm having... You know, a moment where I think like, okay, it could come off to other people. Like you're just being a little, not selfish, but just, and also not really self-centered. It's just like, they're just not used to being like this. You know, the people who used to you walking and running for them, you don't walk and run for them this month. And they're just like, why are you not walking for me? What is going on? So they're like, actually, it's like a five of swords energy. They're already all overtaking of you. And normally you don't really care and you give a lot. You just give so much. When you're in a situation and you're committed to something, you give a lot. But this month is not about that. It's about you. And I love that, Taurus, in a way. Yeah. And I know that you're a little bit in your mind. So it's not just like, your cards are jumping okay um it's not that in a way i'm sorry i don't remember what i was supposed to say it's mercury retrograde so i'm having a very hard time communicating clearly and those jumping cards just distract me completely it will come back to me i'm, I'm sure just have to hold on with me for this reading okay let's see I won't be that surprised if the hermit card comes and shows up. But that's beautiful. So the thing is, is that it could be that you're turning your back on a fire sign right now. You know? 
Um, because it's like you're sending him on the way. So if you are Taurus dealing with a fire sign, so a Sag or an Aries or a Leo, you're sending them on, on the way this month. Yeah, because you just don't want to be bothered. This guy, you know, he took a little trip, you know, away from the city, away from people, away from his normal job, away from everything, away from his family life and everything to go and work on his craft, to go and work towards his own goals, his own ambitions, his own self-love, self-care, self-giving, you know, just... You just don't want to be bothered. Because look at you. Sitting here working on your pentacles. And sending this guy on the way. A guy or a woman is a knight. So apply to your situation. That is what I see. Like whatever is coming at you this month. Or is you're like. I just don't want to be bothered. But. Yes. Okay. So. Let me get the obvious out of the way. This month could have be like because you may be in this mode right now, like don't bother me. I just want to do me right now. Ha could have been because some things were coming out to the surface, like some things came up to the truth. I'm going to make this more general, but there are some tours out here that got their heart broken last month because there, there were things coming to light that you just didn't expect from somebody, you know, and... maybe like i can get let, let's just get all the obvious things out of the way could be an aquarius that have lied to you or hidden truth like hit the truth from you and that stuff came to light and it got you feeling like like the tree of swords like pretty 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 bad but like more of like sad i feel very sad energy for the people who have been dealing with this also because of the moon it's more of like a sad emotional feeling, you know, just disappointed, I feel more. Anyway, so I'm not just trying to put this away like that is not a, a thing. Um, like if you are this person who's been dealing with that, then I'm really sorry. And I I love the fact that you, that, that you will be focusing on yourself and on your work. And I think that's the only way right now to heal. But... If that is not the case, if it's not like a heartbreak or something. Then I feel is that you have been working on something and towards something that you really want. And you, you had so much faith in and you just put so much trust into something. And every time you think, okay, I'm about to make it and it's about to work. That's the moment where you, this big disappointment comes into your life. And you know, you feel like, <clears throat> exactly, you feel like. When is it going to come? What am I doing wrong? What else can I do for it to be a success, to be successful? And I'm losing the faith. Like, I, I don't know how I'm supposed to turn this around, you know, and make me feel left out, like less left out in the cold or just not appreciated or accepted. But because the Seven of Pentacles came out, you know, and we already have the Eight of Pentacles out, it's... That is because you're now walking into this new era. This period you're going through will go through like the don't bother me. Let me just focus on myself type of moments, you know. Those are the keys, you know, to the last step. To you getting out of your own way. And open up back, open your heart back up to fate. And the thing is, before I started your reading, I actually tried to record this reading before, and I stopped it because I just felt so like unbalanced. And now I know why. Because before I started, I actually spoke, like my other <laughs> recording for you guys, I spoke about open up your heart chakra before I start shuffling the cards. 
and it had to do a lot with creative energy and creative space and now i get a tree of swords in your reading and i only can just focus on the, the huge like heart on this card right the heart And what is always standing out for me more in this card is this immense, like, huge, red, beautiful heart that, yes, has three swords in it. It does. But always when I look at this card, and especially right now, the only thing I'm so drawn to is this red heart that is still there. It's not broken. It's not broken into three pieces to six, seven thousand pieces. It's just scarred. It's blocked. And I feel more that these swords stand for mental energy that keep you away from the last part of healing. You know, to keep you away, like you're stuck in your mind to focus on this and what didn't work out in, a, in the past and what the disappointment you have encountered that it's have been infecting your creative energy and creative flow, but also... The way you look at yourself and the way you have faith and that things will go, you know, in your favor. Because you have the star card, so you do have like a wish fulfillment card coming up. And especially with, because the moon, it came out with it. You can't see it coming. It's not going to go the way you think it's going to go. But that's okay. Because we don't always have to know how things will work out. We just have to put it in on our own energy. So what we are responsible for is us. Is you like for example just working and focusing on yourself. And coming from a place of self-love and self-belief even. Like acceptance. And know that you know that you know you're good at this. Or you are supposed to be here. Or you are supposed to do that. Or that you are a good person. And you are worthy of a relationship. And all those things is that once you start changing up the way you think about things and talk about your, like speak towards yourself and towards other people, that's when these swords get out and then all you've got is this red heart. And yes, we go through life, but we also grow through life because of the heartache and stuff that we encounter. It's all part of a bigger journey right so i don't necessarily see that this month you're gonna get your heart broken and it's gonna devastate you and everything no i don't think it's that and if it is a heartbreak or if it is a breakup you already see it coming because you're already distancing yourself from that person right now and you have been doing that for a little bit but this month is really it's not because you're running away from a person it's because you focus on yourself so they just leave you alone like you like i said like i almost wanted to do like okay i, I think i'll just leave this tourist reading alone for this month because they don't, don't want to be bothered <laughs> okay wait i got a lot of fallout i don't know what it is today i just want to lay on my lap and on the ground this came out in reverse. I like that. I like that. Because that's where you're moving toward. And you have the chariot card. So it could be obvious. Let's get it out of the way. It could be dealing with a cancer. So moon or rising. Male, female. But I see you in this chariot this month. After finishing it up. You know, it's like, it's like you get like sort of like opportunities of people that just want to move to forward with you. They're like, here we go. Like, you know, we want to go and you want to follow this dream and you want to do that. And then if you just follow me and follow my guidelines and you will make it, you know, just get on this horse with me and I'll bring you towards success. And then maybe you have been putting your trust and stuff into people in the past. Maybe you have been and you've been let down by those people. You really thought that that was it. Whether that's like work related or relationship related. But this time around, you're like, no, I'm not getting on that horse with you. I'm here. And I think that I can create something or I can just focus on me. And, and, and that's how I will create my success. 
because I feel that you're just going to say no to this person trying to pick you up and move you somewhere where you know it's just going to bring disappointment. You're going to be on the chariot and you're going to be the one driving it. Like, for example, if you work for a huge corporation, like a huge company, you're always working for somebody else's dream. And if you don't have the ambitions in that sense, you could have ambitions with for other things in life, right? doesn't always have to be necessarily work-related or career-related. We all have different passions in life. But if you are a person that have been working for somebody else's dream for years, then it's always somebody else's victory you're working for, you know? And for a lot of people, that's perfectly fine because they just get a check and they receive like that security and that feeling will help them evolve and stuff. So that's perfectly forced for them. But there are a lot of entrepreneur people that get born with this urge, with their own dream, with their own goals. And you're supposed to do it by yourself. You're not supposed to get on anybody else's horse and then just let them ride the way, you know, and then just put trust in them. And if you get fall off the horse, you have nada. And you're just lost in the desert, right? But with this, it says that maybe you are ready right now to just start your own company and start for yourself working as, a, as an entrepreneur. And I'm getting like ear <clears throat> rings in my left ear. So please don't do that. Thank you. <laughs> so that was a good sign, actually. Okay, stop it. Thank you. Um, yeah, you getting on your chariot, doing things the way you want to do them. Don't bother me, right? Just don't bother me. Just let me do me. I'm not going to be any like bad to other people. I am no longer willing to look at disappointment from the past. I'm going to pick these two cups up. And I'm going to create something else. I'm going to create 10 cups out of these two cups that I got left, you know. And that is what I see you doing. It's gaining strength, inner power. It's gaining back your focus. It's gaining that sense of inner knowing, you know, that inner urged feeling when you just... No, in in your soul, in your heart, in your gut, right? That it's the right direction. And everybody around you is like, well, I don't know. And I spoke about this already. I spoke about with Taurus people. It was like two months ago. I spoke about the naysayers, right? Well, I don't know. You know, I know this woman and uh, she did that last year and it didn't really work out so good for her. So um, it's what I told you, right? Two months ago, I remember. And you're like, no, 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 no. But I just, I, th I can do this. Like, this is different. This is me. I'm doing this. This has nothing to do with the experience of a woman from a year ago that you may know. It's like the naysayers, they, they are... I'm not calling them like negative people. It's not that there are negative factor or negative thing. It's it, of course it it depends on how much you let them affect you, but you just don't want to be bothered. Remember with those people, and it's just that they have a lot of fear. They are a lot of like they they just call, like I don't know. They just hold so tightly and to a sense of security. For, for example, working for a boss and then having all that security and that's what making them happy and then they could never imagine not having that stability. So what they're going to do that's going to protect that fear onto you and your dream. You know, they just do. It's not because they're mean people or something. No, it's because they're working from their own lower vibration. They have fear. They come from a place of fear. So they will always project it on other people too because... How can they see that working out for you if they would never ever come close to something like that for themselves? Just accept their fear, you know, and just know that, that there's fear and that it's their reality and that's okay. And just use it as your motivation. But the thing is, is that if you, you're still just doing it for you. You're not doing it to prove those people wrong. It's not about that. And even if it, like I spoke about that, as well, it's like on a spiritual journey, you know, you can fill this in 
and apply it to your situation because it's more of like like I said about the bigger picture. So it could apply to somebody who wants to work for themselves, but it could also apply to somebody who really wants to take that spiritual journey and go inwards and just don't bother me with your 3G shit, you know? I'm sorry, I don't want to share, but it's sometimes it just feels like that. It's like it's other people's BS and other people's fear and they just come and project it on you and it can make you feel like this. Like, you know, disappointed, but... Oh, every time I say the word disappointed, I get this video in my head of this guy. Uh, and, and some people might know them. It's like, disappointed. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is literally what Mercury does to me. I get all these like sidetracks and I have to stay focused, but it's really hard for me. And I'm a water sign, so I already go like this. <laughs> um. So yeah, Taurus, don't be bothered with the naysayers. Like, right. I love the fact that Cheria came out because I just really see you visually like taking on like what you created into this chariot and let's go and sell that, you know, or let's go and move towards what we created. Maybe you even created this chariot yourself, right? It's beautiful. I feel like you're getting so much back in your own power, your inner power. Yeah, I love it. And I feel a little nervous. So I feel like you're not like, um, maybe even like excited that kind of like that stomach hurt, excited that you're just like, oh my God, I'm so ready. But oh my God, I'm kind of scared. And I'm just like, <gasps> like that, right? And then we have the page of pentacles and we got the magician. So I feel we are really not that in. Like, I hope I'll get some love messages for you guys. But I feel this so strongly for you, developing you. You know, and I see an offer coming in of stability. But morally, um, <clears throat> well, morally, really, more, uh, I feel that what you're creating what you're making, what you're focused on is really your baby. Like here, like, look how, 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 how this person is looking at their pentacle. He's holding it up. It's like, it's like, you know, it's like a treasure. It's like, he truly appreciates what he got here. And he's like so proud of himself or something for for finding or creating this pentacle. And I see you doing that with some project or some choices that you're making in life, you holding it up so high, like it's so important to you. <clears throat> and like I said, whether that is a spiritual journey, it's work, it's a creative project you're working on, but you're manifesting this. Because because I feel like you created yourself, so of course because the magician is here. But it's also like a reinsurance, like what you're creating is, is really beautiful because you got all the tools, you get all the tools, you know. And I want you to remember is that you can always ask like a universe and stuff for help. Like, for example, if you have a lot of people on your back and you just have a lot of difficult conversations and you've got, like, things coming up where you feel like a lot of people are against you, you can just ask the universe, you know, and just say, listen, like, just say, like, something like, please just help me through this day or please just help me in this conversation, surround me with your energy, make sure that things go my go um, smoothly, uh, let me like help me to communicate clearly or just be strong and like stand like that. If you, you know, you can always ask the universe for help because that's what I feel like. You're getting all these tools and all this inner power because the universe is like right here. You have to communicate towards him <clears throat> in a way. Like ask what you, what, what do you want to, you know, create? What, what, what do you want to make towards... Okay, let me see. Can we get some love messages for Taurus? Because I feel this is really more like self-improvement and 
Okay. Okay. So, what do we got? We got the Seven of Wands. We got the Three of Wands. So, a lot of action going on. Still don't feel like this is love related, but we can make shuffling a little bit we got some love messages for my Taurus people oh seven of swords seven of wands three of wands okay so if you are dealing with a situation where you just oh my god oh i'm so sorry Taurus. this is really that love situation i was talking about earlier on and they really just want me to talk about this because I feel somebody needs the support and needs the guidance. So I'm just going to keep shuffling a little bit. What's coming after the Ten of Swords? Oh, Jose. I'm sorry, that's a Dutch word. No, but I just feel so bad because I know that there's here somebody who's really sad. And it's not for every tourist. I know. I know. So I'm really sorry that if you feel that this is not resonating with you, but I need to talk about this. Oh my God. I'm not saying like, oh my God, it's like the worst. It's just like your energy. <sighs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry you feel like this. And I feel like somebody has lost somebody as well. I don't know who you lost, but I'm sorry that... If you had to deal with that and that's maybe why you didn't want to be bothered and um, if it's in a relationship you know that this wasn't that's that this wasn't the right relationship for you you know you know but that doesn't make it always easier and it doesn't mean that the timing doesn't surprise you or that doesn't cut you off guard but you know that nobody won in this situation like it's not like the other person is like you know winning if we're talking about a love relationship that's over right now because i felt that here already a little bit so it could be that aquarius person or fire sign but um, I'm really sorry if you feel like like you can't like you can't let it go or that you are just feeling so much anxiety about it and I felt that energy already earlier on like I said like I feel a little bit nauseous in my stomach um Yes, I'm going to tell you, like, this is for the better. And this is going to bring you so much better, like, towards a better path. But it doesn't mean that it doesn't hurt like hell. Sometimes it's just figuring things out. It can make you feel depleted. Like, I really feel like you're at that stage where you just lay on the ground and just, like, I tried. I tried really hard and I gave everything and, and, and more. And, and I, I just just couldn't make the other person happy or just couldn't figure out a way for them to commit to me or to and now you're just giving up the fight so in a way i i i i know this feels so badly like that ten of swords and the nine of swords like i know you're so much in your head but and you're just up at night you can't sleep but but it it's all for the better um yeah i just don't want to sound cliche it's just that what I see coming up for you is that inner strength, inner power. So I know you're going to get above this. You know, I know. And if we're talking about... If we're talking about love in general and getting a little bit back to general energy... I'm... Um, when you decide to go for this, and I'm I'm just going to go a little bit out of love because I have one strong message when it comes to this. When it comes to you knowing what you want, 
to you protecting it like you protect it like it's your baby like you want to go this road you want to walk this spiritual path you want to go and create this own company or, or build this empire whatever you you feel like that is your coin right that you're protecting and that forward movement your enemies are going to show their darker sides towards you and it's going to cut you off cut, cut cut you yeah cut you off guard And it's going to make you feel a little anxious, but it's not going to break you. It's not. It's not. Because I see you getting back up after this. Physically getting back up. Taking the swords out. And start because it's a 10, right? So after this, nothing else comes. You know? So it could be like a three-way situation that, that has showed up and showed his face and i i wanted to keep this reading short but now this whole thing comes out so let's talk about this it could be that you have any internal struggles with yourself one way you know it's for the best but the other side just won't let you get out of this you know, so you're going to show outside the door, like that love situation. You're going to show up for the outside world that you're doing good, doing great. But then late at night, you're in your bed and you're just so sad. And it's all sword energy. Like also like the seven, five of swords and the ten and the nine. It's, it's, it's coming up to completion. So after this, that's done, you know. So five of swords, five of wands, competition as well. So could be, yeah, competition with this, with what you're trying to create. Could have been, have some competition and then people, you know, showing their ugly side because they're jealous. And you're just like, I don't want to be bothered. Remember, it's April. I, I don't want to be bothered with it. I just don't. So then we have the lovers card, which is an is the card about making decisions. I'm so, okay. That's a lot of cards, guys. So I'm gonna keep this one because it's you showing up in your own reading as the King of Pentacles, which I really, really love. And we have the King of Cups. Mercury, what are you doing to me? <laughs> I'm sorry. Well. The King of Pentacles and the King of Cups. I read this with the lovers. Lovers is about making decisions. Are you going to go for the what you feel that is good? Or are you going what you think that is good? Right? And then I mean the response. Are you going to go for something that's long-term gonna work out in your favor or are you gonna react out of emotions that's up to you these situations are like surrounding you just prepare yourself for situation after situation where you can have two choices like where you can make two decisions you're gonna go and and let it just slide away so in the end, in long term, you'll come out as the winner? Or are you going to come and get, give in to this five sword energy and overreact out of emotion and then have the short end of the stick, right? And give in to this five of sword energy. So those are two losing people. There's not one winner into the situation. So like I said, you don't have the this you don't have a choice or a thing to make sure that you won't get into these situations. They're just gonna pop up left and right. But what what you do have is the ability to react. And I know you're an earth sign, so you have a inner peace and calm that you can tap into. So what are you making a decision? You know, you're gonna come from knowledge or you're going to come out of emotion and in mercury retrograde we often act out of emotion and just like that right just try and not overreact 
and give in to that energy don't give in to the five sword energy this month just say like listen i'm really busy at the moment i just don't want to be bothered um you can call somebody else right <laughs> i would sound so mean and it's not something that i would personally ever do but it's not mean exactly because you are the emperor and this is you know showing up in every season it's just about the fact that right now you just want to be focused on you And the more I shuffle, the more cards come out very strong and independent individuals, you know, and that is you and you come up as different people, but all with like sort of the same energy, king's energy. You're not a, a page or a knight, you are kings, like you're king and then we have the emperor, so that's above everybody. So whoever comes at you, whoever thinks that by putting you down or whatever is making them look better, it, it just let them be. Just don't even bother with these people and just be the emperor above it all. Emperor is above kings even. So yeah, just focus on yourself and, and, and for this person that I picked on the energy on, I'm sorry that I couldn't go too deep into it because I almost started crying. So I couldn't, I couldn't get into that energy too much. If you would like to, for me to do a personal reading, you're always more than welcome. You can send me an email. Uh, we can talk about the situation. And um, yeah, that's for everybody. If you want some guidance on this whole life path, you guys can always um, come to me for a personal reading. And um, I just love this whole Taurus energy and uh, I'm sorry if the, this wasn't the most straightforward clear energy uh, reading you know that I did for you guys I did better readings but this was the reading I wanted to come out and I just went with it as a freestyle so yeah thank you again <laughs> and um, I'll be back in May and then retrograde will be long gone so i will be back in my own element so thank you and i hope to see you in may bye bye taurus good luck with everything bye